So we all know we're here for a very special ceremony. And my name is Tom Toppy. I'm the athletic director in the New Bedford Public Schools. I grew up in New Bedford, and I remember coming here as a little, little boy with my father to watch football practice, and he would always say to me, watch that guy coach over there play soccer. And I didn't even know anything about soccer. And I remember coming over here when they had the, this all roped around and people all the way around the field and watching uh, Coach Matos and his teams battle against the best teams in the state and watching what a class act he was. Um, I'd like to uh, introduce some people here today. First of all, the uh, Honorable Mayor of the City, John Mitchell. <laughs> Somebody who was very instrumental in getting this done, one of our school committee men, uh, Bruce Oliveira. Another guy who was very instrumental in getting this done, the uh, Assistant Superintendent of Finance and Operations, Andrew O'Leary. And at this time, I'd like to call on the mayor of the city of New Bedford, John Mitchell, to say a few words. Thanks, guys. Ooh, not too close to the speaker. It's going to sound like a Jimi Hendrix concert if I do that. Um, Anyway, thanks for coming out today. Great game between between the high school and NASA today. Really tough, and I, I think both teams are playing in the tournament, so uh, more to come uh, with that. But nice uh, nice job by both teams today, and it's the kind of game uh, Manny would love to have seen, or love, certainly would love to have coached or played in. Uh, really competitive, and uh, everybody everybody holding their head high after the game. Um, I, I listen. I this is um, th these occasions are really special because for lots of reasons. Um, you know, when we dedicate a field to somebody or we name something in somebody's honor, you know, uh, it, we don't we don't we don't do it just for uh, for for passing reasons. Um, we don't hand this stuff out like candy. We have to go through a vetting process. It has to be analyzed publicly before the school committee. There's an opportunity for public input, and you know, not everybody. It doesn't happen even some for some worthy people naming opportunities just don't materialize and, and that is because we have a very high standard here uh, in New Bedford. You know, people like, you know, Paul Walsh or, um, or uh, Keith Francis uh, or so many others who, uh, who really shined on and off the field or contributed uh, to the city in many ways. Those are the people that we honor. We honor them because of what they did on the playing field as a player or a coach. Um, and, and as well as the kind of person they are. So in the case of Manny, I mean, Manny broke the uh, the old rule uh, that said that great players don't turn into great coaches. He did both. He was a fabulous player at every level, at, 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 at youth leagues, at certainly at the high school, at, at the college level, uh, and then professionally. I mean, he really was uh, amazing. Uh, somebody that everybody, you know, he, he, he was a player's a playing legend in that sense. But then he turned it into a great coaching career, and the record speaks for itself. And this team played for a state championship every single year, seemingly. And uh, and and New Bedford High School <coughs> became synonymous with New Bedford High School soccer in many ways. And I know Vic Pond is here, and he can speak volumes uh, about about that legacy. Uh, but you know, as great of a player as he was, as great of a coach as he was, he was an even better man. It showed there are countless players that had the opportunity to play for him, to, to learn from his example, and they're better, they're better men for it today. I, every single, and I know a lot of them are here, and every single one of them uh, would say that about him. Uh, as much as you know, naming a facility, a major facility, um, is about honoring the past and past accomplishments, it's also about the future. And I'm glad there's so many players here, both boys and girls soccer, some of the field hockey team is here, there are others. Uh, it's as much about uh, it's as much about the future. You know, we name things, uh, facilities, buildings, bridges, whatever, after people uh, that we want uh, children to emulate, right? We want they they are these are people who are worthy of emulation in every sense of the word. That they excelled at their craft, but they also um, are, are people whose character is something that we want our kids to say. You know, I want to be like him or her. And that's that's true of Manny. And I, so uh, this was a, uh, a richly deserved distinction, uh, a richly appropriate uh, distinction uh, that you know, the school committee decided on with the support of Tom and our superintendent, Thomas Anderson. 
Uh, it was uh, it was pushed. The, the prime mover here uh, was Bruce Oliveira, and I just would ask everybody to give Bruce uh, a round of applause for that idea. And, um, and Bruce brought uh, Bruce brought it forward. Everybody was like, "Yeah, of course. Yeah, makes makes perfect sense." So you know, that's the kind of thing that uh, you know. Again, we're very proud to be here today uh, in Manny's honor. Um, you know, we wish you were here. Uh, he, he left us uh, in an untimely way, and we wish he could be part of this. But I know he's smiling down upon us, and I know his family uh, feels his presence here as well, as well as all of his former players and colleagues. So I just want to thank all of you for uh, for honoring him today, uh, and just as much honoring New Bedford High School athletics. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Mayor Mitchell. On behalf of the New Bedford uh, School Department, I'd like to call on the um, Assistant Super. Superintendent of Finance and Operations, Andrew O'Leary. Uh, thank you. Uh, on behalf of our superintendent, Thomas Anderson, I would just like to say how proud we are uh, in the school department uh, having this opportunity to dedicate this field uh, from Coach Manny Matos. Um, I'm a soccer fanatic, and I can't tell you how great it is to be in a city like New Bedford that it's a soccer city. Well, come to find out, the reason it's a soccer city is largely because of people like Manny Matos. I'd heard about the cohort of players that had gone to University of West Virginia, and now come to find out Manny Matos is the one who started that. Even more amazing, Manny Matos goes to the Philadelphia Adams, and he's on the same field as Eusebio in the North American Soccer League. But And then reading um, some of the comments from last year, after um, the untimely passing of Coach Matos, you see that, that was, those weren't his greatest achievements. His greatest achievements were as a coach. And players were commenting how he had turned their life around, how he had make, made them fall in love with the game, made them succeed in school. So it's more than fitting that we're here today to dedicate this field uh, to Manny Matos and on behalf of the school department. Uh, this is something we'll protect. We'll protect the soccer program at New Bedford High, and we, um, we'll make sure it, it keeps attaining those heights over the next decades to come. Thank you. Thank you. Now up to say a few words. I know his uh, former boss, but more importantly, a very good friend of Manny's, uh, Dick Pont. Thank you, Tom. First, I'd like to uh, apologize for re reading this. Uh, I want to make sure that I didn't forget anything about uh, Manny. But I want to thank Tom and everyone else for the, the, uh, the honor and the privilege of speaking on behalf of my friend and colleague, Manny Matos. To his wife, Melinda, his daughter, Bethany, his family and friends, this is an honor well deserved. My association with Manny started in 1965 at Roosevelt Junior High. I was a first year physical education teacher and he was a seventh grader. Soon after, we both moved up to New Bedford High School and reunited as teacher, student, but also a coach and athlete. Few people know that besides being a great soccer player, Manny also became an outstanding distance runner on the Bedford High School track team, a sport he became interested in only to keep in shape for soccer. In his senior year, he was a member of the One Mile Relay team, which was ranked in the top five in the nation. We all know of Manny's success as a player at West Virginia and professionally. That success was equally matched by his many years of coaching at New Bedford High. And dur during his years of coaching, we partnered in forming the Whaler Soccer Camp which has run successfully for over 30 years. In those years, hundreds of boys and girls, as well as coaches, have benefited from Manny's expertise in the sport he so dearly loved. It is only fitting that this field be named after one of the finest gentlemen and role models this school and city has ever known. Thank you. Thank you, and now, the head soccer coach at New Bedford High School and former player of Coach Matos, John Masaraco. Well, I just, I just want to uh, thank everybody for showing up today. I see a lot of uh, old faces and uh, new faces. And uh, this is the house that uh, Coach Matos uh, built. And as a former player, uh, I'm a really uh, dedicated, he was a really dedicated man. Uh, coach, person, and I think the whole city of New Bedford that's played this game knows who Coach Meadows is. And I'm really uh, grateful uh, for the honor that Coach Meadows is after. Well, thank you. Thank you. And last but not least, representing the Meadows family, his daughter Bethany.
Thank you. Good evening. Thank you all for coming today. My mom and I are incredibly grateful to see so many of you gathered here to remember and honor my dad. Most of you knew my dad in some capacity, whether you worked with him, played soccer for him, coached alongside him, or knew him as a friend. You knew, you know what an incredible soccer player he was, and you know how much he loved the game. So I don't feel the need to list his accomplishments as a player, the awards he won, the number of years he played professionally, or his achievements as a coach. I will tell you though that of all the memories I have of my dad, some of the ones that shine the brightest involve the game of soccer. I'm sure that comes as no surprise. I remember kicking the ball together in the backyard when I was little. I remember watching him play, and like every kid does, thinking that my dad was a superhero. It seemed like he was faster and stronger than everyone else on the field. I remember being a student and a soccer player in the same school where he taught and coached, and being so proud of his reputation. He was highly respected and a little bit feared, which is never a bad thing for a coach. My dad loved his players. He loved watching them develop their skills. He loved seeing their confidence grow. He loved running into them years later and finding out what they had gone to, on to become. And I love running into them too, hearing firsthand what a positive influence my father had on them during the high school days and how his lessons and advice continued to follow them throughout their lives. Chance meetings with some of his former players have been a bright spot for me in the two years since my father passed. Hearing their memories of him has helped keep him alive in my heart and I always walk away from those encounters feeling as though a little piece of my dad is with me. My dad also loved this city and this community. This was his home. He grew up here after immigrating from Portugal at the age of eight. He played soccer for New Bedford High and he was so happy that his career path brought him back to his alma mater as a coach. My mother and I can't express all the different emotions we felt after getting the news that the varsity soccer field was gonna be named in honor of my father. It means so much that the school and the community that he poured his heart and his soul into have come together to celebrate his life and accomplishments in this way. To know that the school committee's vote was unanimous speaks volumes about my dad's life and legacy. Our family would like to express our deepest gratitude to every single person who played a part in making this dedication a reality. I know how honored my father would have been to hear the news and how much this would have meant to him. If you grew up in a city like I did, you know the name Paul Walsh. In high school, I saw the sign bearing his name or spoke the words Walsh Field almost daily. It is overwhelming and humbling to know that generations of athletes will come to know my father's name with that same kind of recognition. Imagining kids decades from now leaving school at the end of the day shouting to each other, hey, are you going to Maddow's Field to watch the game later? <laughs> Fills me with a million emotions which are impossible to put into words. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for the outpouring of love today and for this incredible tribute to the man I was lucky enough to call my dad. Thank you very much. And at this time, we are going to unveil the sign for the Manny Meadows Memorial Soccer Field. Oh, yeah. Dave, 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 Dave. Anybody wants to come take pictures down by the sign, you're welcome to. Thank everybody for coming. Thank you very much.